Hello friends, myself Prashant Ulasi and you are watching my YouTube channel Arva Misa Koda Parva. So this video is purely about the Bitspilanti WLP program and I am sure that I have made around 7 to 8 videos purely on this topic. I hope these videos are already beneficial on your side for your professional growth and this video what we are going to see is about the subscribers doubt as well as there are a few points which has to be conveyed from my end about this program. So we will see the points one by one and we will also address the subscribe doubts at the end. Uh, before moving that, what I would say is, now you can see that my YouTube channel is going to cross 1000 subscribers and what I would request all the subscribers is that please click on the subscribe button so that it will be useful for me and for my channel growth. So it is an humble request from my side. We will move into the video. So first is regarding the UGC approval. So there are several candidates who text me or even email me whether this course is UGC approved. So Bits Pilani has clearly mentioned that in the website that it is UGC approved and the document is also available as a proof. So what I'll do is in this video I'll attach the document so it is just for your reference. And there are other scenarios that students are doing research into this thereby wasting their precious time. My humble request is that please don't waste your time or doing some research about it. This degree is currently valid and move forward. In the same way when I did the course a situation come up that the degree is valid or not but we didn't react to it too much because Bitspilani is a well recognized organization. So what I would suggest is don't waste your time. So move forward in this and the next slot for enrollment starts this November and make sure that you are collecting all the necessary documents so that you can enroll by this year. So this intake is purely for the event semester. So make sure that by November if you are really interested for this course then go ahead and enroll yourself into this. In terms of eligibility all the details are clearly mentioned in the website so please have a look and I will also mention that in the description. So next point is regarding the student chain. So this is purely my idea and what I am going to do is I am going to create a chain of students who are under my control. Control means I am not 100% engaged to them but what I thought of creating is a loop so that each student ensure whichever doubts are there between them they can sort it out internally. So if there are doubts which cannot be clarified by them then I will come into the picture and I will ensure that we will get a clear cut idea about that and we will finalize a solution for it. So next is regarding the partnership. So many of them think that uh, I am already in partnership with Bitspill and WLP team but that is uh, truly false. I am not in partnership with any of the organization and currently I am a working professional and I work for a German organization as a project manager. So this I am doing it out of my personal interest. And when I joined this course, I didn't get many inputs from any of the supporters. So I thought that since I completed this course, this will surely show some light on the budding working professionals who are having a goal of doing a master's degree. So I am sure that I will be a support for you and I will ensure that you are on the right track. When it comes to the IR studies, whether is this the right time to join this course? If there is a doubt on your mind, just clear it and go for it. because. There is a statement saying that something is better than nothing. Due to this pandemic situation, we are all currently working from home and what I would suggest is this is the best time that when the corona leaves a place, you will have a degree in hand which will surely increase or boost your profile during your job search and for internal switching between your organizations. So don't waste your time, just enroll to this course and I am sure that this course is very much flexible for working professionals and if you have any clarification, feel free to comment on this video. I will give you a reply as soon as possible especially in my free times. Last point is regarding the job demand. So you know that the current job market is very huge and competition is there all over the world. So whether master's degree is sufficient for this? Definitely yes because with a bachelor's degree you can find plenty of people and based on all the market research I would surely confirm that a bachelor's degree is not sufficient for the current trend. If you have a master's degree then you will be ahead above all the members. And please make a note that this you will regret if you miss this opportunity. So 
So don't miss this opportunity. If you're having a plan and if you have already completed bachelor's, then go ahead in doing for masters. This course is very much flexible. You just need to put little effort and work smartly to clear all the subjects. So there are several videos which I made in terms of exam preparation. So please have a look on to that so that you will have a clear cut picture of how to score good marks. So now we will move to the subscribers doubts area. These are all the important points which I consider that it would be useful for your side too. So first is regarding the compliments. So there are many subscribers who are very much in touch with me and they say that your videos are very much helpful. So thanks a lot for your love and support and I'm sure that I will create more videos on this topic and if you have any doubts on your side too, please feel free to post in the comment section so that I'll create a specific video for that. The next subscriber doubt is if a student misses one subject, so should he pay a fees for that one subject alone or he should pay a fees for the complete semester which is around 50,000 plus. So for this case, what BITS claims is you should pay the complete fees and not the subject fees. Each semester can carry only four subjects and if you miss one subject, you should pay the complete semester fees and you should study that one subject which you missed. So make sure that you never miss a subject if you are enrolled for this course because BITS is already flexible and they are offering two modes which is a regular and a makeup and this is a very good idea for working professionals. So which will be in a time span of one week or two weeks. So if you can make a regular then you can go for the makeup. I would consider that it's a very much flexible course. Next is when we obtain an MTech degree after pursuing this course and if you are switching organization whether will it be considered or not. See the degree which we obtain is the same as a regular one. So no worries about that. If you switch from one company to the other company, it is treated in the same way that it's a master's degree. So you will get equal preference and you will get recognition everywhere. So no need to worry about it and apply all the interviews which has eligibility criteria of masters. So the next uh, doubt raised by the subscriber is the company is going to pay the fees and why we are totally worried about it. It depends because all companies are not sponsoring the students and in my case too, I paid the whole semester fees and I got only the acceptance from the company. So I hope that this is the same situation in all of the case. So what I would say is it depends from person to person. If your company is ready to pay for it, then you need not worry. But if you're paying for it, then you should work on it because the fees is a little bit high, which is around 50,000. So I would say that you should work on it because this is an expensive course but it also has recognition. The next point is regarding the purchase of textbooks. So what are the documents which will be given by the Bits Pilani and what all we should purchase in order to continue this course. So when you join this course, a lecture schedule will be given to you and on the first or the second day of the lecture, the lecturer will share you the author's info regarding the textbooks which you need to purchase. In my case, what I would say is don't purchase a textbook at once please wait for the lecture to continue for a couple of weeks. So they will share you the presentation, what they teach you every week. So the presentation can also be used as a reference material for the examination. So some subjects I bought a textbook and some I did not. It purely depends on the difficulty of the subject. So if you think a textbook is must and if you are sure that this will surely help you in getting more marks, then go for it. Buy a textbook and it is available online or you can go to the shop and you can purchase it. Lastly, a subscriber doubt is that in the certificate whether the class will be mentioned or not. So whether you secured first class or second class in the complete course. So here in the degree certificate, the classes will not be mentioned and the only thing mentioned will be a roll number. So no need to worry about this because this certificate is accepted worldwide and this degree carry only the roll number. That's it for today. I hope that this video is very much interesting and useful for joining this course. And if you have any doubts, feel free to type in the comment section. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Your subscription will surely help me in a point of motivation factor as well as I will ensure that this grows into a big family. I am sure that you will succeed in your career and all the best for your future. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.